week. Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, we're going over the new banner featuring Aerith and Lucia, and uh, I'm just gonna get right into it because this is a featured draw, as opposed to, I guess, the limit break draws that we've been seeing. And I was half expecting to get another banner before the event was over. I wasn't necessarily expecting it to be this soon, or I guess I didn't really think about whether or not, you know, there'd be a banner for Easter. But um, I'm not too surprised, I guess, is what I'm saying. So I do still have 15,000 crystals I could summon. Uh, I still never went back yet and, and tried to get my last uh, copy of Sephiroth's weapon, and I still have not summoned on this either, which I was kind of leaning towards wanting to do before April 7th. But let's talk about these weapons. So uh, let's just start off with what I think is the strongest thing on this banner. I love the costumes, both of them. I think this is the best looking Aerith costume in the game. Easily, easily in my opinion. Like I love everything about this. I just, it's amazing. I want this costume so bad just for aesthetics, just for aesthetics. And the reason is classic Coney. I even love the way they've named it. I just love it. I really do. I, I cannot express how excited I am over the aesthetics here. Now, is it good? Yes, I would say it's extremely good. Flame Blade Arcanum, obviously an Arcanum is always going to be strong. So yeah. It's good. Boost magic ability potency. Also very strong, especially on a character like Aerith, who let's be honest, she's not doing physical damage no matter how you set her up. She's a magical damage dealer, almost kind of in a box, so to speak, if you're not using her as a utility healer type of character. Now, the downside for my personal account is that I do not need this. I, I just don't. I don't have any real, I mean, sure, my flame team is pretty much Aerith, Sephiroth, Cloud in opposite order, right? I have Flame Blade Arcanum on Cloud. I have Sky Splitter OB6. He's good to go. I have Radiant Edge and the Garb on Sephiroth. Uh, it's a mastery garb, but still, I mean, I have everything I need there. I usually put in Aerith for the heal. So this really potentially gives me like the the best fire team possible i guess um but i don't really need it so from a pull perspective i can tell you i have not made a firm decision yet i always like to take a step back from my excitement and do my thinking i will tell you if i pull for this it's purely for cosmetics i mean yeah would it be nice to have that sure but that is not factoring in to my decision because if this was the only reason I was pulling, I wouldn't pull for this on my account. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't good. I think it is. And although it's a featured you know, banner, not a limited banner, the costumes so far have always been limited. So for that reason, I'm really just think thinking about this from a perspective of do I, I like the way it looks. Like I would put this skin on and use it exclusively outside of maybe some special, you know, Halloween or Christmas costume if that happened. All right, Egg Staff, let's get to this. Looking at it at OB10, 630% uh, magic fire damage to all enemies. Again, okay, a 1.3 times damage, just like the Sephiroth weapon against a single target. Just doing some quick math in my head, if you take, you know, a third of 630, you're gonna have 200 and change. So I would imagine this is somewhere around, it's not quite a third, 830% minus a little bit, probably like 820-ish percent, somewhere in there, uh, which makes it slightly worse against single target than things like Sky Splitter. Sky Splitter at OB10 would be 850% against single target. Do I think that, you know, maybe the extra 30% or whatever it is, is a big deal? No, I don't, especially because it's got the utility of also being able to hit all enemies. So I think the C ability is good. At OB6, looking at it realistically, uh, boost HP plus 40, fire potency plus 27 is not anything to write home about. 
HP plus 40, though, is good. And, you know, one thing that I've noticed is as I'm building these teams stronger and stronger, it's becoming harder and harder to work in the HP because I have so many good weapons that give so many good attack base R abilities that the HP ones are kind of falling by the wayside. So I think that there is still space for boost HP on an R ability. And the fact that it, you know, max, it goes up to 46, that's not bad. I, I'm here for it. As far as materia goes, it also has the cure all, which makes this weapon even better in my opinion, because obviously if you're setting her up with this, you're going to make her, you know, more of a damage dealer, which means fairy tale may not have a place in that build, Alas, with this, it does not have to. So, I like the weapon just fine. Again, I'm not ever really trying to use Aerith at this point in time to do damage. So, I don't care about this weapon. I don't. But, I think it's a perfectly great weapon. I have no problem with it. Uh, just ultimately, though, really love the aesthetics. I even like the way the weapon looks with all these eggs. And it goes so well with this costume. I'm, like... S plus tier on cosmetics here. I think the devs nailed it. And I'm going to get to that in a little bit because I've got, you know, my suspicions as to why they nailed it. Okay. Again, looking at Lucia's costume, I think this is the best costume that we've seen for Lucia. This looks so freaking good. I love it. There's so many nice details here. Like, it, like, this is amazing. Even the gun cosmetic, I mean, that looks so cool. I really like the little rose they put on there. Like, in love with these costumes. Really, truly love both of them. I don't even use Lucia, and yet I want this costume. Because it just looks so awesome to me. <sighs> it's also kind of sad, which I will also get to. Okay, Gothic Bunny is what it's called. I guess that gives it its Easter flair, even though really Easter is the opposite of Gothic, but I don't know, that's kind of a cool twist. Flame Frost Rabbit Ears. Fire and Ice Resist plus 20%, Fire and Ice Ability Damage plus 15%. Obviously, the most recent uh, content that we're getting with Ifrit coming out, and maybe there'll be something with Shiva as well. This is kind of cool. I, again, they did this on Red 13 a while back, and we thought there was going to be a specific case use for it. Turned out there really wasn't. So I'm not excited about this ability, really. Uh, I don't think it's bad, but it's also not particularly good. And just kind of the same reasons I said the first time that I reviewed an ability like this, Normally, we want to build characters like, instead of having, I guess, like, it's like having a car that can go 0 to 60 really fast, or a car that has a very high top-end speed. Um, we don't really want to sacrifice both of those to have a middle ground, typically, right? You either want a car that's really fast off the line, and it's doing a very short distance, or, you know, a car that can sustain a, you know, 200 plus mile an hour pace, whatever. I kind of feel like that's how it is with these abilities, right? Uh, boost 15% to two is not nearly as good as just having plus 35% to one in most cases. So I'm not that excited about this. The resistances so far in the game, yeah, I've tried to use them a little bit. They don't ever really seem like they impact things as much as I would like them to. So I'm not that excited about it. Buff debuff extension. That's always fine, especially because Lucia has some breaks that are really uh, good. You know, I always think about Bald Eagle and the, you know, Ice Breach, high potency. Uh, this is this is great because those don't last that long. And so, you know, this gives basically a 40% buff extension, which is pretty nice. And it makes it to where it's not that hard to get it to 80. I mean, one weapon that has 10 points on it as a sub weapon, and now she's at 80 which 80% is a, an extremely good extension. So I think the costume, as far as functionality, I think it's perfectly fine. I mean, you're combining two pretty strong things, and I I, I like it. Uh, I'm not stoked about it. Again, I wouldn't pull just for these abilities. Even if I did main Lucia, I probably wouldn't. 
But I would pull for the cosmetics. And that's, you know, kind of like the form versus function argument, right? Like, sometimes, and I think it is fully okay to not just be meta, right? To not only need your team to be strong, but to get stuff that makes you happy to play the game. And that's one of those things for me. And I would honestly, uh, gosh, I would really like this costume. I, I think it looks really good. All right, Rose Musket is the weapon. And... You know, I love the way it looks. Okay, again, S+, plus. I think this is the greatest looking design for a weapon. However, um, okay, like, the fire potency boost is, is, like, average. The boost magic ability potency, I love, and I think that is great. Uh, looking at the ability, it's, you know, it's the dual purpose ability where they've nerfed the single target damage here for fire damage. In exchange for if she's above 50% or more, also decreasing magic defense. And starting at OB6, it goes to high, right? Starts at mid, which stacks to high, which I think is quite strong for a five star. Um, but the damage, starting at 390 and then going up to 550, is pretty lackluster. Um, and and here's, I guess my only the only bone I have to pick with this is. When you're giving somebody like this, and and I mean the fire potency to an extent, but this is screaming like, make this person a main attacker. That's how I see it. But this is screaming like, well, they also really need to be more utility based. Um, I guess, you know, you could always put another weapon on that has a better C ability once you hit this, but that's kind of awkward sometimes. So... Ultimately, yeah, I think it's great, but I think the way they've set it up, the where this damage ability isn't that high, means this is going to be a an amazing sub weapon, and probably just a good utility weapon if you're using her on a flame team. I mean, and it does. Well, that's about all I have to say about that. Really, uh, I like this. This is all really good. I think this works really well. Well, if there was a cure all here. I think that would be really interesting and would make this a lot better to me. But that is my, I guess, pretty in-depth review of this banner. And uh, my thoughts generally about, you know, I don't think that it's, I mean, okay, maybe not everybody feels the way I do. Maybe every, not everybody thinks that these two costumes are best in class looks wise for each of these characters. But I'm willing to bet there's a good amount of people that feel that way, and I just feel like there was a lot of effort put into these costumes, more so than a lot of the costumes that we see, and I kind of think that the reason is, is because they know they've got to try, if you're going to release an Easter banner while you have two really, really solid limited time banners, you're going to have to make something really, really good on them. I mean, they even threw Arcanums and all kinds of things in this banner. You do that because you need to sell stuff. They don't always have that urgency because there's very few times where we have three banners going at one time. And we'll have three banners going at one time for like the next nine days. Um, that's kind of a lot. And I'll be honest, I'm holding. I really wanted to summon on this, but I'm really considering summoning on this. Not because it's meta, it would be the wrong choice for my account to summon on this over the Cloud and Glen banner. However, I also really enjoy playing the game. That's why I play it. I don't do it. There's no, there's not a lot of competition anyway. And if I can't clear some content, I can always try later when I'm stronger. But the looks of characters, I mean, that's, that's part of the magic of the game. That's part of what makes things... I don't know, just feel a certain way that, that gets you excited. And and this is kind of what does it for me. So I am going to think about whether or not I really want this. Uh, normally, I could make that decision within about 24 to 48 hours, but this is probably going to be a longer one. I'm probably going to wait till kind of close to uh, the April 7th deadline to make my decision and obviously see how many crystals I have by that time. Because I, at this point, I probably couldn't even guarantee myself a costume anyway. So, 
that's what I thought. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, I'd also maybe in a future video, we'll talk about, you know, what do people think about the, the summoning fatigue of, you know, putting out two really strong banners and then following it up with a third banner? Uh, is it just whale territory or, you know, do, do people hate that? Do you think it's like unfair or that they're, you know, trying to take advantage? I have really strong feelings about that and probably not in the way that most people do um, because I actually like this. I think it's good. But anyway, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.